welcome viewers in this video we will see the construction of operation of a reluctance motor subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box now we will go to the topic reluctance motor so that this motor having as usual we have stator and rotor stator as well as the rotating part rotor is available the rotor is not a uniform the poles are not available uniformly so due to that the reluctance will vary for example in this portion the reluctance is minimum the slots are available coils are available so the reluctance is minimum so the, during in this period in this portion there is no coil and slots available so we have maximum reluctance so the reluctance value varies in the uh, rotor it's not a uniform the reluctance value based on the number of slots available and depends upon the construction so that it is called a reluctance motor now we'll see the first we'll see the construction it has two main part stator and rotor we know that stationary part stator and rotating part rotor first we'll see the details about the stator stator has laminated construction made up of stampings right it is not a single 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 piece it is stamping stamping means like a paper n number of slots available that are compressed together that is called a stamping it has a slot on the periphery to carry the stator winding so we need a slot as you sell the normal construction of the motor the slots are available in that stator windings are placed stator has only one winding and it is excited by a single phase ac supply so we have only one winding available that is excited by the ac supply lamination reduce iron loss so the laminated the core is laminated so that will reduce the iron losses they are made up of silicon steel lamination which reduce hysteresis losses so iron loss and hysteresis losses are reduced iron loss reduced by lamination hysteresis loss reduced by silicon steel laminate that will reduce the hysteresis losses now we'll see the details about rotor so due to the shape of the rotor the air gap is not uniform that we will discuss in the diagram with the, some portion the slots are available in some portion slots are not available so due to the reluctance vary then air gap also varies no dc supply is given to the rotor rotor is free to rotate reluctance of magnetic circuit depends upon the air gap we know that air gap is different so the reluctance also different due to variable air gap when rotor rotates the reluctance between the stator and rotor also changes that's why it is called a reluctance motor now we'll see the working principle stator has a single main winding but a single main winding cannot produce rotating magnetic field right so already know that we have only one winding is available if the only one winding is available there will not be any rotating magnetic field minimum two windings are required now we will see why it is for example let us consider this is the current flowing through the single winding consider only single winding is available alternating current is flowing through the single winding so during positive of cycle the because of rate of change of current positive flux will be produced plus y during negative of cycle due to rate of change of flux current the negative flux is produced right so sum of these two positive flux and negative flux is zero so the flux produced during positive of cycle and negative of cycle got cancelled so that there is no rotating magnetic field in case of single winding that's why single phase induction motor is converted into two phase starting winding and main winding with 90 degree phase difference between the current flowing through the starting winding and main winding so that the rotating magnetic field is produced in single phase induction motor similarly here here also we need to make some other arrangement to create the rotating magnetic field therefore to produce a rotating magnetic field an additional auxiliary winding with a series capacitor is connected right so two conditions are needed one is the one winding should be converted into two windings so 
so that is connected with axillary winding and also there should be phase difference then only the emf will be the rmf will be produced for creating phase different the capacitor is connected now capacitor connected means suppose this is a current flowing through the main winding mean current flowing through the axillary winding will will flow earlier 90 degree earlier see this at this time the current is decreasing and another current is increasing so always there is a sum current will be there so due to that flux will be created not cancel if you want is only one winding is there that can't cancel if two windings are there with two current two flux with 90 degree phase difference always some flux will be available that is called a rotating magnetic flux right so single winding is converted into two winding by connecting axillary winding and making the 90 degree phase difference using the series capacitor now we'll see the further detail a rotating magnetic field is produced due to the phase difference between the current flowing through both the windings rotor has short short circuited copper or aluminum bar and act as a screw gauge rotor of a induction motor right what we have in the rotor short circuited copper or aluminum bar there is no coil right permanently the copper bar or aluminum bars are available so that will act as a screw gauge induction motor now we'll see the further detail so when an ion piece is placed in a magnetic field it align itself in a minimum reluctant portion and get gets magnetic magnetically locked it's a general general theory if ion piece is placed in the magnetic field what happen it will take to the minimum reluctant position and magnetically locked similarly in reluctance motor rotor tries to align itself with a axis of rotating magnetic field in minimum reluctance part so the where the slots are available at that the reluctance is minimum the slots not available at that portion the reluctance is maximum so it will align with the minimum reluctance position but due to the rotor inertia it is not possible when the rotor is stand still right so the rotor is stand still mean not rotating so it will not possible to align with the minimum reluctant position so what will happen due to that therefore reluctance motor is started as a screw gauge induction motor when the rotor speed is about synchronous stator magnetic fields pulls rotor into synchronism at minimum reluctance position and keep the magnetically locked so during the starting it will act as a screw gauge induction motor right so it is rotating in a synchronous speed this rotor speed is about synchronous speed rotor continues to rotate with the speed equal to the synchronous speed such a torque exerted on the rotor is called reluctant torque finally reluctant motor runs at a synchronous motor so due to the magnetic locking we are we are treating this as a reluctant synchronous motor the the rotor is rotating at synchronous speed finally it will act as a synchronous motor so the average value of reluctant torque is t equal to k v by f square sin 2 del right so the k is the motor constant del is the angle the load angle right v is the applied voltage f is the frequency of the supply maximum value now we'll see the further detail though the motor moves at synchronous speed rotor poles lag behind the stator by a torque angle reluctant torque increases with the increase in torque angle right so the motor what we treated is a synchronous motor synchronous speed but still there is a some lagging between the stator and rotor this is called a torque angle right so that torque angle will increase the reluctant torque increases with the increase in torque angle so the torque is based on this torque angle this is a that uh, is the torque angle now we'll see the speed torque characteristics so the x axis we go speed and y axis torque is there starting torque when the speed is zero we have the maximum starting torque and the speed increases the torque also increases gradually 
at one portion it is increases suddenly the torque is increases suddenly that is called a switching speed i have already discussed the magnetically locked thereafter it will start rotate in the synchronous speed again it is increases rapidly then reduces gradually reduces and will get the synchronous speed n equal to ns right so initially torque increases gradually at one portion it increases in a rapid manner that is called a switching speed thereafter reduces gradually and reaches the steady state value that is called a synchronous at a synchronous speed at it got the steady state now we'll see the advantages and disadvantages dc supply is not necessary for this rotor constant speed characteristics why it is constant speed it is rotating in synchronous speed robust construction less maintenance right there is no commutator brush nothing is there so it is less maintenance and construction also simple but the efficiency is less poor power factor because of lagging of current between stator and rotor and also we have load angle there is a torque angle is available and load angle is available so due to that the power factor is poor needs very low inertia rotor right you cannot go for a big size right very minimum size of rotor with inertia inertia is needed inertia in the rotor is very less less capacity to drive the loads so having the less capacity you cannot use it for a more capacity more rated motor only less powered motor is there so capacity is less to drive the load so in this video we discuss reluctance motor so the if the rotor is not uniform having the slots at some portion there is no slot and some portion due to that air gap different air gap varies based on the reluctant value also varies so based on the reluctance this motor is operated right there we have as usual we have stator and rotor it is finally it is rotating at a synchronous speed so it is called a synchronous motor then we discuss the torque speed characteristics advantages and disadvantages subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening all the best for your examination